Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. I made a little mistakes, but that's okay. You know, this is just, you know, video that I don't edit. So let's listen together series. I'm really, really excited because some of the song I teach private lessons or class, but then um, I, I never have done this, you know, this style. So we can listen to it. So this Marina Shaw, Feel Like Making Love. So this song, I've listened to this records and Robert Flack records too. And um, another one, Something Rainbow, uh, like a fusion by, um, you know, Steve Gatt and Eric Gale, Conor Dupree, those guys jam with this song. So, you know, three versions I heard. That's why I made a song, this arrangement with this song for my uh, scholarship tape, which I got a full scholarship because of the song, I believe. So let's listen to it and we figure it out, all right? So so here we go. Disrespectful this, this, this to uh, Marina Shaw, but just I did like a you know, uh, guitar kids just play over the music. Why not? So, the whole point about this series is just discover new music that you don't know, or you, you know the music, but you didn't know the details. So, um, so I, I got this information from music store guy who loves. You know, back then fusion R&B. So this records I should get. You know, I I copied it, and I listened to it. Just listen. I mean, first all I did was listen, listen, listen. I have no idea what chords are. But then gradually, when I start studying jazz guitar, then I go like, ah. When I learn jazz, like that, oh, half step. So this one, D minor 7, D minor 9, G7, but G13. So you know, usually minor 9 or dominant, major 7. Then usually you go 6, 2, 5, 1, 6, but like that, that's ja very jazzy. So this is called what we call sub five. It's really a substitution for E. One, 
uh, if you don't know theory, you have no idea what I'm talking about. So don't worry about that because you have to study a little bit, you know? Nothing, nothing magic. You have to do a uh, little bit work. So here, this chord half step down. And this chord always 13, 9, flat, uh, flat, uh, sorry, flat 5, sharp 11. That's the tension. This guy resolve to minor so you don't have a 13 because usually uh, flat 13, flat 9 to resolve to minor. So in a way, this song it's almost like sounds like a D key of D minor, but now it's not. Like that, they repeat. Then, you know, bridge you wanna go to four, but before. So this one a little tricky. I play ninth and you know flat five sharp eight minute. So that's really a uh, replacement in you know, a substitution for this C C7 to go to C7 flat 13 but really like that and here F major 7 E minor 7 D minor 7 C major like that I think maybe not oh yeah uh, just a little Yeah, A minor, so, 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 yeah, that's right. So instead of, a, normally you go to C, key of C, but then minor key is good because minor key is uh, sad because most people are really sad, you know, so. song this is kind of arranged you know so this song you know sus for domino then okay so like I don't know which is real real original but I think robot flock version is more robot flock version is more original this is more like arranged really but anyway you get the idea right so Let me see.
how I approach a uh, private lesson. Sometimes I just all of a sudden play something because if I only play uh, all diatonic or all correct, then I, I'm just showing almost like from the book. I, I, I'm not book, I'm human. So I'm changing mood, I, I, you know, I have more different ideas. So sometimes I play a song, if I hear something, I just play. And the students say, what was that? Then we talk about, you know? So that's the kind of fun part, I, because I can explain. <laughs> that's my, my job, to explain what it is. I, almost like uh, I, I eat any food and I can show all the ingredient correctly, but then you can understand how to make the dish, you know? That's what it is, you see? So, so beginning, yeah. Really important to understand the chord changes, okay? So, you know, understand this. You have to learn jazz a little bit. Because, different key. You know, when I got this guitar, get into the, the Larry Carlton, you know, jazz, and that's when I discovered this. And this, I think, uh, Larry Carlton, Dean Parks, and David T. Walker. So that's what I discovered David T. Walker, those are thirds. So this is more like <laughs> God, God of Neo Soul, you know, this is this is it, you know. So I, I had this. So when I hear Neo Soul, it's just like a jazz R&B, you know, and a little bit more simple because Neo Soul nowadays, like people call Neo Soul, they just repeat the same thing over and over. This is a little bit more complicated. So, yeah. So I hope you understand the chords, basic chords. One more time. So the beginning, right? Very soft. Somebody do a lot. 
two chords. So what happened? So David T. Walker is Motown guy who plays a lot of Motown records and you know use um, Birdland, you know, a little bit short short scale, 24 inch scale, uh, semi acoustic, semi acoustic. No, 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 full acoustic, but semi acoustic, like you know. A shape like a little thing or well, I don't know exactly but you can look up so that's what he played and more like he I can see he loved jazz he plays more blues you know and so his part it's not see a lot of rhythm guitar back then people play that and people play fails so he's a case so that's what I know that's like a flat seven and a third I mean second sorry Flat seven and fifth, a uh, flat. Well, wait a minute. I really uh, made up. So D minor. That's a flat seven and ninth. That's a fifth and flat seven. That's a flat three and a five. Root and flat three. Yeah. So really. Arpeggio. Then that's B flat. So that's a B B flat. Well, B flat, B flat, and B flat A. You know. So he plays a lot of triad. Arpeggio. Okay, so let's listen to it again. That's how I learned. So I don't want to get confused. So chord D minor. idea so that's like you know okay D minor C then you know doing sessions and this actually when I was Seven, sixteen, or eighteen. First time ever session at a club restaurant. The a lot of professional people, you know, jamming, and I was invited, you know, with the drama. And these people, all professional, you know, they back up singers, you know, amazing, great guys. Yeah, and um, yeah, great band. I still remember other guitar player uses 335 and and I brought my own gear and then basically let they let me play between the song and they don't tell me any name of the song they're just playing because they have weekly thing going on and this is one of the song I, I, I heard I didn't really study it but I know I love this song because I can play a sort of a pentatonic thing kind of worked you know what I mean so this case
Sí. You don't have to let play scale. See, that's A minor. So basically, that night I was doing okay. A lot of uh, ballads. Actually, I made. A, I had original song. I brought original charts and we played it. That's amazing. So um, I have to say I was very lucky. Around the people, the very kind brought me to the gig, and then let let me sit in. And I didn't play that well, but I didn't overplay. I only play you know something I can play and then just listen so that experience really brought me to the next level because otherwise I just jam with like this and sometimes right sometimes wrong I don't record and nothing really improved so after that I start recording myself so that I can hear afterwards because when you play sounds like good but you don't know your pitch touch time you know so this way um yeah great so let's see just a little bit more i think that's enough right right here so now nine then when a jam Da, da, da. I heard that. Then what happened is later on I figured it out. D9. Okay? Root third, root third, seven, nine, fifth. If I go whole step, root third six. So that's a sixth sound. That's a ninth sound. Then I analyze. So that's A minor. This is B minor. Ah. B mi A minor. B minor. Ah. Okay. Actually, I just made last week. I just made this um, uh, ninth slide idea with the uh, uh, analyzing as a minor triad. Or at the guitar wisdom, we'll post that video. It's, I made really, really super clear with my experience. So now you get this idea at uh, the guitar wisdom. Very useful for gig. So what happened is if I jam with this one. Chuck, Chuck, 
I never played with Chuck Green, but um, oh, this guy, unbelievable. <laughs> okay, I think that's way enough information, I believe. Just learn this song, I think you love it. You know, again, 1967, yes, 3.35, I had this, long time. I, I'm, I'm really playing this song, this guitar more. Anyway, once again, Marina Shaw, Feel Like Making Love. And I'm gonna put this link. This is not official for her, but I don't know what's the best way. Probably maybe I should just uh, say what what's the title. Then you can look up Spotify or somewhere so that, you know, musician gets a little bit something. That's it. Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. And this is really... Uh, thrill to do. Um, let's listen together, and we did figuring out. Okay, so please write your request, your comment, and um, if you want to learn more guitar, guitar, uh, guitar, you know, a technique, and um, you know everything, guitar wisdoms, you you know will help you. All right, thank you so much. Take care. Bye.